Hi friends, I welcome you all to this e-learning presentation on transformers. The contents of this presentation are we discuss what is a transformer, the structure and working principle of transformer, construction of transformer, losses in transformer, ideal and practical transformers, uses and applications of transformer. Let us have an introduction to the transformers. A transformer is a device that changes AC power at one voltage level to AC electric power at another voltage level through the action of the magnetic field. There are two or more stationary electric circuits that are coupled electromagnetically. It involves interchange of electric energy between two or more electric systems. Transformers provide much needed capability of changing the voltage and current levels, levels very easily. They are used to step up the voltage and also to step down the voltages. What is a transformer? Transformer is defined as a static piece of apparatus by means of which an electric power in one circuit is transferred to electric power in another circuit that is alternating current. There is no electric contact between these two circuits. The desired change in voltage or current without any change in frequency. It works on the principle of mutual induction. This is the first transformer photograph. Structure of transformer. The transformer has two inductive coils. These are electrically separated but linked through a common magnetic circuit. These two coils have a high mutual induction. One of the two coils is connected to the alternating voltage. This coil is known as primary winding. And we have another winding which is connected to the load that is known as the secondary winding. They are shown in the figure. Primary winding and secondary winding which are connected through the core that is electromagnetically connected core is shown there and there is main flux and also leakage flux. The core is ferromagnetic metal. The function of the core is to transfer the changing magnetic flux from the primary coil to the secondary coil. The primary has n one number of turns and secondary has n two number of turns. The working principle is the mutual induction. Yes, then the frequency of mutually induced EMF is same as that of the primary winding. The figure is indicating the primary winding and secondary winding iron core and the primary winding is being connected to the source of voltage secondary winding is being connected to the load. The construction of transformer, it is made of mainly two parts. One is the magnetic core and the other is the windings, the coils. The magnetic core is either square or rectangular shaped and core is made of laminated uh, constructions or uh, laminated plates to reduce the eddy current loss and it is made of high grade silicon steel to reduce the hysteresis losses. Winding the edge made of copper. Core type of construction is shown in this figure and uh, these are the laminations of different shapes E, I, L, U, I shaped laminations are shown in this slide. Shell type of construction is explained in this slide. Losses in transformer. The losses in transformer are of two types. One is copper loss and the other one is iron loss. Copper la losses are also called as I square R losses. It is due to the resistance of the primary 
and secondary coils. The magnitude of copper losses depends upon the current flowing through these coils and uh, the iron losses are further subdivided into two types. One is hysteresis loss and the other one is eddy current loss. The hysteresis loss is due to the magnetization or the reversal of magnetization of the core. Some energy is lost due to the hysteresis effect and this loss is known as hysteresis loss and eddy current loss. The leakage magnetic flux generates the EMF in the core which is not desirable but it happens because the core is made of iron and it is subjected to the change of flux and this current is known as eddy current loss. The ideal and practical transformers. A transformer is said to be ideal if it satisfies the conditions like it has no loss, winding resistances are zero, no flex leakage and small current is required to produce the feed. While practical transformer has winding resistance, leakage flux and also has a bit of losses. Applications and uses. It, the transmission and distribution of alternating power is possible through the help of transformer. And the transformer used is used in televisions, photocopy machines. Simple camera flash also uses a transformer. Signal and audio transformers are also using transformer for coupling purpose. Thank you for watching this presentation. Thank you all.